Hello, my friends. Ryan Van Duzer here from my bedroom where I have spent a lot of time lately. So there's some serious stuff going on all over the world. This is the real deal and it's scary. And I personally have been looking toward thought leaders for some inspiration. And one of my favorites is good old Mr. Rogers. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Mr. Rogers. And one of his quotes really is poignant to me. And actually, it's not his quote, it's his mother's quote. And it goes like this. When I was a boy, and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would tell me to look for the helpers. There are always people who are helping. And that is so true. We can look to the news or social media and see so many scary statistics and numbers and stories that it's overwhelming. But there's so many good things happening as well. So I thought it'd be a great idea to look for the helpers here in Boulder. So I made a Facebook post asking for people who were doing interesting things. I got a nice list together and I rode my bike all over town filming people doing good deeds. And I wasn't able to film them all, so I'm gonna share a few of them right here first, but there's a lot of kids doing very cute things. My friend Stephanie's daughter is writing letters to her friends. My uh, friend Amy's daughter made like a picnic table full of goodies and it was like, you know, take one if you need it, leave something if you don't need it. I got some photos sent to me of some kids drawing pictures on sidewalks with chalk with no other reason than to put a smile on somebody's face. And a smile right now is worth a million dollars. And I truly believe at the end of this, whenever the end is, uh, we're gonna be a lot closer uh, as communities on, on a small level, but also a state level, national level, and a worldwide level. I think, I think we're gonna really come together. And that is what is inspiring me right now. We're gonna think more about our environment, about animals, about our friends and family, and what we can do to build stronger relationships and communities. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you some of the stories that I went around and filmed. I hope you like them. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. I've lost a lot of projects over the next few months, so my YouTube channel is more important to me than ever. Please comment and do all that fun stuff you do on YouTube, and I hope you enjoy these stories. What do you got there, Adam? Yeah, we got some food for some people. We got a toilet paper hookup. We got some hand sanitizer. We were able to find that at an auction. Some avocado, some yogurt. Hey, what's going on? My name is Adam Kulikowski. I've been in Boulder uh, my whole life, born and raised. So what we're doing is we are basically getting donations and then we are getting the food within like you know 24 to 78 hours to the people who, who need it and so what we've been doing is we've uh, organized uh, with with some people involved with the Boulder Valley School District a lot around kind of families with kids and just how can we make sure these people have what they need you know originally like the, the first list that we had was like a couple of people in the family and these families had uh, cancer one of these kids had like severe brain damage some people have auto, a couple people have autoimmune uh, deficiency stuff, and then just other things as far as being just like really scared to leave their house, go get what they need. You can't see, but I'm smiling behind this mask. Just had a bunch of people kind of jump in, say, hey, I want to be a part of this. I want to give back. I want to contribute. I want to help. Um, <laughs> these guys, <laughs> what's up, dude? Como estamos, amigos? What's up? Hola! Yeah, do it! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> yeah, I love it! Oh, it's just good to be out here. Good to be helping people, you know, being part of the community, giving back. I um, you know, feel very fortunate that I have the time and the ability to, you know, kind of help put this thing together. And yeah, man, just not be part of the fear, be part of the hope. Can I have a piece of that? Hi, my name is Dana D. I've been in Boulder 36 years. I'm at the original Walnut Cafe. I've been here that long too. And today what we're doing for our employees at each store is we're giving them hot meals, soup, casserole, quiche, like whole foods, and then fresh fruit, vegetables, bread, 
everything they need, like milk, eggs, butter. Like we're just doing what we can and that's feeding people. So we figured we better take care of our employees first. Yeah. Okay. We pretty much know how we can keep this going for at least six weeks and feed our people. This is our Walnut Cafe family. And when we say family, we mean family. Like I have a kitchen manager that has been with me for 30 years. So, you know, we really take care of each other. Like we're, we're walking the talk. We say to our employees every single day, we've got you because that's what family does. Get things, get things cleaned up, run it through the chains. Hey, I'm Ray Keener. I've been in Boulder since 1986 and worked in the bike industry since 1975. And uh, I'm doing what I can to help my friends and neighbors keep rolling on their bikes. I've been doing one bike tune a day where people just come over with their bikes, maintain social distance. We fill up the tires, oil the chain. And it's not just, you know, oh boy, I, I need to go for a bike ride. It's for health, for fitness, for escape, for transportation. I mean, one great thing, and I'm not particularly concerned about car traffic, but I go out on rides right now. There's no cars out there, people. If you're someone who's hesitant to ride your bike around Boulder because of the car traffic, now's the time to get out there. My name is Lonnie. I've lived in Boulder for 10 years and I'm in our donation closet, uh, getting bags ready and together for people that are being released from jail. Cosmos Pizza. Oh yeah. yeah. So because of COVID-19, uh, they're starting to release some people from the jail that are about to get, that were, would be released in the somewhat near future, but they're releasing them all in a short period of time so that they can limit the amount of people in the jail and therefore reduce the risk of spreading it in the jail. Then we are trying to give everybody food because right now food is super backed up with food stamps and Medicaid, so. Food donations are really awesome. And so we're getting a lot more people that are coming out and many of them are homeless. Um, and so getting them whatever we can, there's still cold nights, so getting them warm things, getting them sleeping bags, tents, um, backpacks, hygiene, bus passes for transportation, uh, basic clothes, all of that. And how are, how are people getting this to you, the donations? Uh, I made some Facebook posts, have kind of reached out to different angles, and so people have been putting them on their porch, and I've been driving around with gloves and picking them up and bringing them back here for a few days and then dispersing them back out. I have a, a car full of all of it right now, so when somebody just calls me when they get out of jail, I find them wherever they are, at McDonald's or whatever, put the stuff in front of my car, they grab it, and... Um, and then they smile, <laughs> usually, hopefully, so, yeah. <laughs> it's just a symbol of hope. I'm giving them to uh, a lot of residents around Boulder. My name's Somerset, and I'm a Boulder native. I own a holiday lighting company. We're based out of Boulder. My focus is to spread light during this difficult time. And uh, my hope is that we can um, create a little bit of light for the community uh, with a symbol of hope. And uh, so today I'm out delivering um, these little globes that are a, a light of life for people um, that they can hang outside their home and for neighbors and the community to enjoy. We hope to put about seven to 800 of these around Boulder. So John Tear, I am President and CEO of the Boulder Chamber and I'm so glad to be just talking about something that gives us all a little lift. That is the Boulder Star. We are the stewards at the Boulder Chamber of the Boulder Star annually, which is lit usually at the holiday season only, but we understood the power of the Boulder Star. We worked with the partners at the City of Boulder and said, let's get this thing lit, and there it is, voila. It is just a beautiful symbol of hope and community, all of us during what is one of the most difficult times I think most of us have ever experienced. We can all look up at the Flagstaff Mountain at the Boulder Star and celebrate the future ahead for all of us, which is gonna be bright and beautiful. Go Boulder, we're in it together. Thank you.